Hey guys, how's it going? This is Blakeu92 here again with another tutorial, and this one is Advanced Avid Timeline Techniques. And pretty much we're just going to be expanding on the very last uh, timeline tutorial that I went over. We're going to go over a, a few uh, advanced options as far as the time code window goes, and uh, several different types of display options and we're also going to be going over fonts and such things as sizing also we're going to go through and find out a bunch of clip info and also towards the end of this one this is part one we're going to be learning more about track naming and uh, conventions with those so if you haven't seen the original one then I would recommend going back and watching it first uh, it's basically just the timeline and uh, several different options you have to work with in the Avid Media Composer. I've, get, I've made quite a few of these videos now and uh, I'm telling you they're going to really really help you out so I hope you guys are enjoying them and uh, like I say if you haven't seen my other videos I always say in the beginning that I'm a Final Cut Pro certified user and an Avid Media Composer certified user but that doesn't mean in any way that I am a certified instructor in either of those programs because I'm not basically I want to uh, just put these videos up for you guys for your benefit and I realize how hard it is um, you know to get all the training you need in this crazy world this day for a good price so this website's a pretty good uh, pretty good way to do that now that we're in the 21st century <laughs> uh, anyway how about we uh, just step into it and let's get started here. And the first thing that we're going to talk about is timecode enhancements. Uh, 